Uh, so hello everyone, I'm Zin Yang from Baldi's group and I'm gonna share final packets for curated repository data over Beacon version 2 progenetics database. First of all, I would like to introduce you progenetics database, uh, which is a copy number variant database. It includes over 140,000 cancer and reference copy number variants for fires. It also uh, contains source data and uh, annotation and metadata of these in vitro fires. Uh, it uh, requests unrestricted uh, data access without registration. Um, Based on progenetics database, we use the CMV profiles of uh, this large database to uh, analyze cancer types, uh, the relationships between cancer types and their underlying genomic features. Uh, for instance, uh, we uh, use the uh, we want to explore the, how genetic profile heterogeneity relates to disease classifications. Um, one of the approaches is indicated here that the NCIT hierarchy pro pro provides the scanfold of, um, for the statistics of CMV heterogeneity depending on the place in the NCIT hierarchical system. Um, additionally, our database also provides classification mappings, uh, which uh, already produced for our own data, including the mappings between NCIT cancer codes and ICDO. And these mappings can be accessed through the Progenetics API. Um, so this is the technology stack of Progenetics database. And the code are open in GitHub. Importantly, um, our data model is based on the Beacon data model. Uh, we've been fully Beacon version 2 compliant. So what is Beacon? Uh, Beacon was firstly developed as a simple genomic variant discovery format by um, J4GH, and a Beacon can answer a query for a specific genome variant against individual or aggregate genome collections it can give you an answer of yes or no. And with the development of Beacon, Beacon version 2 allows for more complex uh, query and it can support reporting the results in uh, Beacon version 2 default model. Um, so this figure shows the Beacon default version, version 2 model. So the model describes the set of concepts included in a beacon, like individual or bell sample, and also the relationships between them. And the domain defined in the standard model overall can respond well to final packets. Um, what is final packets? Uh, we all know that a lot of data repositories, including NCBI, GEO, they contain a large amount of metadata and annotation data, which is frequently stored in semi-structured documents accessible through the resources API. So uh, the final package was developed also by J4GH which is a data exchange format bundling uh, biological, medical, and genomic core data of a subject or sample. And the J4GH final package schema consists of several optional elements. Each contains information about a certain topic, like uh, phenotype, variant, and so on. And 
an element in final packet schema can contain other elements. Um, it uh, therefore can allow for a hierarchical representation of data. Now, based on Bacon version 2 and final packets, we now have a standard uh, G4GH protocol for data uh, discovery, which is Bacon version 2, and also data exchange format. Uh, of bundled uh, genomic data and annotation data uh, final packets. So we will be interested in how data can be discovered and delivered using Beacon version 2 model uh, with the format of final packets. So um, we test on our final uh, progenetics Beacon Plus implementation. Um, we want to find out how data can, uh, how data uh, in Beacon version 2 data model can be exported in the format of final packets. Since the formats of Beacon and final packets are already similar and uh, the elements are partially aligned during the development of Beacon and Fin packets. So technically, it's not a problem. They can be quite well aligned. And fortunately, the ecosystem of Fin packets uh, involves rapidly. There are software tools uh, providing the test and verify of uh, our own final packets documents, um, a publication of final packets tools uh, is recently accepted, um, but still face the issue of different languages since most G4GH tools are in backend while the final packet tools is based on Java. So to make a summary, based on our implementation of a Beacon API-based final packet formatted exchange of repository-derived curated genomic and metadata, we propose a more general adoption of such scenario. A uh, future scenario would include direct G4GH standards integration, uh, including final package speaking services info extra to, re to resource providers using the demonstrated benefit from the demonstrator cases. So uh, if you want to find more information about our Beacon API and its use case, and the technology uh, implementations, you can find more on our documentation websites. And I want to thank the people in Bodies Group, and I want to thank the funding supports from J4GH and Elixir. Uh, now we have a new created resource for cell line, uh, cancer cell line variants. Uh, if you want to know more about our cancer cell lines, please find more in poster 41. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, questions are welcomed.